On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to install this Panasonic ERV. On today's episode, we're gonna be installing this brand new to the market, IntelliBalance 100 ERV from Panasonic. But before we get into the install, let me tell you a couple features about this particular ERV that I think are really new to the marketplace and I like a lot. So number one, filtration. Look at this awesome Merv 8 filter for all that incoming air. We're gonna be able to drop the pollen and all the nasty stuff from the outside right into this filter before that gets into your house. Almost all the competitors I've seen in the marketplace have a really cheesy small filter that's not doing nearly the duty of this one. And we could swap this out to a Merv 13 if we wanted to. So if you really wanted to up the filtration, this would be really easy to do. The other thing I like about this one is these controls right here. Look at this, we've got a minute, a CFM and a CFM controller. We can decide how many minutes during the course of the hour we're gonna run this, anywhere from 10 to 60 in 10 minute increments and we can decide how many CFMs, not just 50 to 100 of total CFM, but 50 to 100, and we can differentially decide how much is coming in and how much is going out. So we could negative, positive, or pressure balance our house. Very cool, some neat features, as well as Panasonic's DC motors. They have these in their other fans that I use in my houses, and these motors are super efficient, very quiet, and they can ramp up their speed. So if we had a restriction in our duct line, they'd be able to ramp up their speed to make sure we got the correct CFM flow. Okay, so let's talk installation now. This unit can be installed in a couple of different manners. In this case, we're in a mechanical room on a new house we're building. I had a great wall in this mechanical room to install it to horizontally. And I like this kind of install because now you can see I've got great access to turn the unit on or off, to look at the, the filter reset and the maintenance button. And if I pop the cover off, I've got full access to vacuum this out. But every 90 to 180 days, you're gonna have to do some, some vacuuming or change the filter. So you want good access to this unit. You don't wanna put it in an inaccessible place. Another option though would be to hang this unit from a ceiling. Let's say if you had an attic and you didn't have a wall, you could hang this from the rafters. There's gonna be four chains that you would put to these ports on the corners and it would be able to hang overhead. In this case though, since it's a wall mount, they've got a bracket that mounts right to the studs and a French cleat system. So now the unit basically just drops right onto that bracket and then we're gonna screw this to the wall. I had Jeff, my favorite HVAC installer from Airwright, install this with me today. Super easy, it's gonna ultimately plug in. And then we're gonna hook up the ductwork to this. So let's look at the ducts. We've got two ports here. These are both ports that are gonna to go to the outside. This one's bringing the fresh air in, and this one is exhausting our stale air from the house. Now these are gonna to have to go through the exterior wall of the house, and I like to separate those penetrations by a, at least three to five feet. I, I typically use Seho covers on the outside there. This is gonna bring that fresh air in, then we're gonna have another one to exhaust that stale air on the outside. But of course you could also use the Panasonic concentric ones if you just wanted to make one penetration on the outside. Okay, now let's talk about the supply side on this unit. We've got two over on this side that are coming from the house. On this side, we've got the return. Now don't be fooled, this return means that it's bringing air from the house. This is our stale air. And then this is the supply side. So the air that's come from the outside that we've mixed and tempered, we've dropped the humidity or we've removed the heat. Now that air is gonna be coming this way to the house. So on the house air side, pulling the air out of the house, there's three typical places we wanna pull air out of. Either a bathroom, a laundry room, or a kitchen. My preference is to pull that out of the bathroom. And I'm also using another product from Panasonic that's new to the marketplace. It's called the Recessed Inlet. It looks like a typical LED recessed can, but in fact, we're gonna hook our four inch duct up to it. That four inch duct is gonna come over here to the unit. And now we're gonna continuously be pulling a little bit of air out of that master bath area. That's a great way to go. The other thing about this unit I like is in particular that recessed inlet could be converted to be used as supply air as well. So if you wanted your fresh air to dump there, or if you had an HVAC duct you wanted to dump through there, you could conceal it with that recess can. Pretty cool. And of course you can block that off to turn it into a standard recess can so everything could match in that bathroom. 
And then the last thing I want to mention on this one is the supply air. This is what's bringing that filtered air that's fresh into your house. And remember, this has an enthalpy core too. So with that enthalpy core, it's going to drop some of the humidity and some of the heat and exchange that between those two air flows. Remember, the air flows don't touch, but this enthalpy core is able to pull the moisture out and exchange the heat. So this can be used in all climate zones, including Canada. They make a specific model for Canada. And now we're going to dump that fresh air into the house. There's really a couple of ways we could do that. My preference is to have a dedicated boot. I've got a vent over here in the hallway outside of the master right near the return air grill. And now I'm going to dump that fresh air in that space. However, you could, of course, dump that into the supply side of your furnace as well. Now, if you did that, you're probably going to want the 24 volt controller up here to turn on your furnace fan as well. So that's another option for you. But I prefer to keep these units separate. So this is basically a standalone unit. The final step on this unit, now that it's been installed, is we're going to hook our manometer up to these ports. This is really nice that they include these, and you'll see the directions on how to balance the system right here in this label on the front. For more information on this IntelliBalance 100 and all the cool features, visit that link on the description below. You're going to get lots more information there. And of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.